The Indiana Convention Center remains open despite the governor's plan to cap gatherings at 250 people. News 8's Travis Robinson asked tourism leaders how other closings and postponements are affecting the city. Still a little too early to know exactly how hard the lack of tourism is going to hit Indy. Each year, that brings in 29 million people and several billion dollars to the city. So Visit Indy says without that revenue over the next couple of months, it's going to be a little rough. Today, convention center halls are empty, but only two events have officially been canceled. Convention center staff are working hard to reschedule events for later in the year to make up for the loss of tourism now. That doesn't mean the work stops. The convention center is still open for groups under 250 people, so employees are still getting a paycheck. Outside the convention center, nearby businesses won't be getting the attention they normally would during a season of packed events. That's why Visit Indy is looking at local Hoosiers who don't have the virus to help out the economy over the next couple of months, encouraging a staycation for spring break. Visit Indy is putting a pause on 90% of their advertising to help save money and keep their workforce healthy. They say they're hopeful with rescheduling events and reserving finances that the city will be fine in the long run. That pause, uh, while we're, we're, we're hopefully optimistic, will be 30 days, could extend 60, maybe 90. And we're anticipating the worst case and planning for the worst case. Yet I think you'll see and, and, and hopefully trends will be, uh, uh, show that the 30-day window is really where we need to, need to stay and that we can rebound after that. That 30-day window is kind of the magic number there. That's when the convention center hopes that they can get those big events back up and running, but they say if the virus does last longer, they still have space in the future where they can reschedule those events. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV, News 8.